Most of the time when you buy things, either online or in person, you are charged an extra percentage as a tax. Since this tax is added at the time of sale, this is commonly known as sales tax. Sales tax is a tax added by state and local governments to some purchases to help pay for things like roads and infrastructure, schools, police and fire departments, and many other things. Whether or not you collect sales tax from your customers when you make a sale depends on three factors. Location of the sale, what is being sold, and the customer, who it's being sold to. The first factor is location. Because these are state taxes, each state has its own laws and rates for sales tax. Some states don't even charge sales tax. So as a business, it's important to understand the tax laws for your location as well as the location of your customers. This can get very complicated because there are potentially thousands of different tax jurisdictions in the United States, if you include the state and local governments. The second factor is what is being sold. The products and services sold also add complexity to sales tax because, in most states, not all transactions are taxed. For most states, products sold are taxed and, generally speaking, services are not. Even within the product categories, many states have different taxes depending on the products sold. For example, fuel often has higher taxes, as do vanity items like alcohol and cigarettes. Grocery store foods are often taxed lower, but restaurant foods are taxed higher. The third factor is your customer. Most state laws dictate that sales tax should only be collected once for each product sold. This means that only the end consumer gets taxed. If you buy something wholesale, meaning you intend to resell the product, then you don't need to pay sales tax. Also, many times governments and not-for-profit organizations are also exempt from paying sales tax. Now that you understand the three factors that determine sales tax, you can understand why larger businesses often hire consultants to help navigate the complexities of the sales tax world. In fact, some accountants make their careers out of specializing in just the sales tax space. For this course, we won't dive into the messy world of selecting the appropriate sales tax rates, since that varies in every scenario. Instead, we will focus on how sales tax is recorded and tracked in our accounting records. Let's imagine that a customer purchases a product from us for $2,500 on account, and our state charges a 3% sales tax for that kind of product. Sales tax is a percentage, which is calculated using multiplication. So, $2,500 times 3% would be a sales tax amount of $75. We would charge the customer both the $2,500 sale and the $75 sales tax. So, since the customer purchased on account, we would begin our journal entry with a debit to accounts receivable for $2,575. Now, how much would get recorded as sales? The $2,500 is our revenue from the sale, but the $75 isn't. That's the government's revenue. We are just collecting on their behalf, and then we will pay it to them later. Anytime we have to pay money in the future, that's a liability. So we would record the sales tax as a credit to a special liability account called sales tax payable. Then, later on, when it's time to pay the taxes to the state or local government, we would record the payment as a reduction of the liability account, not as an expense. Remember that the taxes aren't our expense. They are the customer's expense. We just collected them on behalf of the government, and now we are paying the money we've collected. So the journal entry for the payment would be a debit to sales tax payable to reduce the liability account, and a credit to cash to reduce the cash for the money we are sending. So, in summary, sales tax is a tax collected by state and local governments as a percentage of product sales. The tax is an expense to the customer and revenue to the government. Our job is simply to collect it for the government and then pass it along to them. To determine if you need to collect taxes, you will need to review the three factors against your local tax laws, location, product or service, and customer. To learn more about sales tax and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.